Hey everybody, it's Brandy back again and today's video is going to be on my new hair care routine for my shortcut. There's been a lot of updates in my life and one of which has been my haircut. Before you guys ask, I did not cut my hair because of a mental break. I just really got tired of the wash day routine. It takes so long for me. So cutting my hair, it takes a fraction of the time to do. It's less stressful. And just gonna put it out there, if you have ever thought about cutting your hair, been afraid to do it, just do it. Just do it. Trust me, you'll thank me later. I wish I did this before. Do you see that? Do you see this amazingness? I'm gonna show y'all what it looked like. I'm gonna do a little twirl for y'all so y'all can see. I love it. I love it. Like, I wish I did this way earlier because I feel so much more confident with my hair like this. I feel more sexy with my hair like this. I just feel more feminine. Like, it's crazy. I was hiding behind hair this whole time and I feel free. Like, the feeling of free is amazing. Only thing nobody tells you when you cut your hair is you're gonna drown when it rains because there's no hair to block it from your face. That was the whole thing, okay? It stormed, I got stuck. I felt like I was drowning from the car to my front door, drenched, okay? That's what's possible. Another reason for my haircut, aside from how long the washing routine was, was my dry scalp. In a few videos, it actually was, you can kind of see them in a few, not a lot, but I had a lot of dry areas up here on my edge line and I thought, okay, it's because of the dry products that I use for my skincare routine, it might be drying it out. But I started to notice that it was like towards the back of the crown of my head up here especially like right back in this area this specific area like i would just be scratching my head even though i just washed my hair i put moisturizer and all of that oils and everything in my hair and it would still be so dry so my washing routine with longer hair just it took so long for me to try to get all the the dry scalp out i just felt like if i cut my hair it would be easier for me to take care of my scalp the right way with no hair up here so I have not only figured out what works for my hair with my hair routine, but I figured out what I can do to prevent the dry scalp from coming back. And I know this is working because when I don't do it, it comes back. So I'm just, you know, I'm going with the flow here. It's something that I, like I said, this is new for me. Um, this is my first routine for my hair, my short hair. Uh, I've been watching a lot of shortcut videos before I did this even now just trying to figure out what works for me and this is kind of a compilation of everything I saw so far and it's been working so let's get to it I usually wash my hair like twice a week I walk in the park pretty much every day at this point so most times I like co-wash it every day but I have to wash it with shampoo twice a week so I can just get all the excess oils and dirt debris everything um, I'm not picky about what shampoo I use. Honestly, I have a stockpile of shampoos and conditioners from my days working at Ulta. Yes, years ago. I still have so, many, so much product and more products that I have that I've never touched that's just been sitting in the back of my cabinet. So right now, I'm finishing off this Tresemme Anti-Breakage Breakage Defense. It has vitamin B12 and gelatin. You use a dime size amount. Sometimes I do suds up my hair twice because I need it to be really, really lathery. If it's not super lathery, it's getting the dirt off first. Once you get the dirt off, you're good. This time around, I had just washed my hair, honestly, so it lathered up just as much as I needed to do. And while I shampoo my hair, I brush my hair. So this is from, this is Red by Kiss. It's a stiff, this is like a wave brush, looks like this. I've had it for a little minute now. When I first started doing my hair, like the, the low cut, I was not shampooing my brush. I don't know if y'all knew, I didn't know. And I saw somebody do it on YouTube and I'm like, duh, because there's so much stuff gets stuck in your brush. So while I'm in the shower, 
um, shampooing my hair. I'm also gonna shampoo my brush, make sure everything's out, and I'm going to brush my hair. And at first I'm like, what? But it's definitely a good thing because you need some type of harshness on it. And yeah, my nails can do so much, but I don't wanna scratch my scalp. This is the best way to smooth it out, um, to like smooth the shampoo through the smaller strands of my hair, as well as making sure the product is all the way through each strand of my hair, getting to my scalp, actually cleansing and getting up all the dirt. The dirt. I'm trying to think of another word of getting up, like, um, come on, I mean, just getting it in, getting in there, getting the, the dirt out. That's what this is doing for me. And I like to shampoo my brush before and after I do that step because there's a lot of dead skin cells and dead hair and debris and dry scalp and all of that that gets stuck in your brush and all you're doing is putting it back in your hair if you're not truly washing your brush. At this point I feel like it's 50-50. Some people are like duh and some people are like I didn't know that. I'm with y'all. I did not know. Okay. Sorry. I didn't brush my hair very often. I didn't use brushes like that. So now I make sure that I shampoo my brush and I've noticed that it makes my brush a lot softer. It's very hard to find a super soft brush when you first like find a wave brush or whatever kind of brush you want to use for your hair. I don't know where the heck y'all go if you do have a soft brush, but bruh, this thing was hard as, okay, hard. And I was like, I can't do this to my scalp. But the more I shampoo my brush, the softer the bristles have been. Sometimes I brush my hair just for the hell of it because it feels good. Not because I need to, just feels nice. So make sure you shampoo your brush. Back to the routine. After I shampoo, I wash that out. And this day in particular, I decided to do a moisture mask. I do this if I feel like I need a little bit more moisture or if I just need, I just wanna soften up my hair, whatever. Again, I was about to get my hair cut the day after. So I got my hair cut today. Like right now me, I got it cut today. This was yesterday when I washed my hair in this video. So I wanted to make sure that it was super moisturized because another thing that I noticed, which was very, very embarrassing. When I went to go wash, I mean, cut my hair the first time, I had a lot of flakes come out while he was cutting it and I can see it on the drape. It was really embarrassing. Never want that to happen again, so I made sure that my scalp is moisturized. This day in particular, I use the Texture by Cantu Strengthen and Restore Moisture Mask. This is what it looks like. Obviously, I don't care for this product. I just really want to go and finish it. It's okay. I haven't found a moisture mask or any type of hair mask that has been my holy grail yet. If y'all have suggestions, please leave them in the comment section. I need something that works. But I mean, it did its job, I guess. I just let it sit on my hair. I let this sit while I wash the rest of my body or do whatever I'm doing, shave, whatever's going on. So that's what I do. I leave that in my hair for like, like I said, however long. Sometimes it takes five, sometimes it takes 10 minutes. I take my time. It really depends. After I do that, I wash that out. Um, and then I also put, I do this um, conditioner. This one is the Matrix Total Results Moisture Me Rich. Anything with moisture in it, I'm going to gravitate towards it because that's what I need. So again, I really like that one. Another product that I'm trying to, trying to get my products down. But that has been amazing. I'm not gonna lie, this is actually a product that I will buy again because it really works. I really feel a difference when I don't use this product. If I use another conditioner, it's like okay. But this one is the better one. Love this stuff. I'm pretty sure you can get that at Ulta when they have those um, big jumbo size sales. You know they had those like twice a year or once a year. But yeah, definitely go pick that up. So once I wash that out or whatever, everything is done, I'm going to get the water out of my head. How I do that, I kind of just slowly like, kind of put pressure down and bring the water down in the direction where my hair is going. So my hair goes down here, like the crown of my head is here. You want to go out and around. You want to make sure you know how your hair moves. Everybody's hair is a little bit different. The direction of your hair goes different ways. Some people's crown is like right here on the side, some are here. Mine is like right here, sit dead center of my head and that's how my hair goes. So I'm like this, so I make sure that I move it. Hmm, it's about to rain. I make sure that I, 
I'm pressing down in the direction that my waves are going. I also brush it that way as well. Make sure you brush with your hair, not against the grain. It makes your hair pop a lot more. It's gonna give you those waves that you're looking for. It's gonna make them pop, like already. I don't know about anybody else, but this has helped me get my waves together. Like, baby, waves on swim. Do you hear me? Little effort. I, I'm gonna be honest, I rarely use my Durag. We'll get to that too. Anywho, after getting out the shower, I use this Tropic Isles Natural Hair Growth Leave-In Growth Mist. It has aloe vera, rose water, and shea oil. It has plant-based boosters in here. And it conditions, detangles, and refreshes for all types of skin. Um, skin. It's for all hair types. I like to do this once I get out of the shower. Like literally, I get out of the shower and I tend to my hair. I can be butt naked, but I'm doing my hair. So in this clip, my hair is, it's still damp. I have not done anything to it except for brush it a little bit more. You guys know I like my brush. So I'm spraying this all over my hair. This doesn't have the best smell, but this again, it does seal in the moisture of the water that's in my hair. I use water as my moisturizer, and this is still a leave-in mist that will lock it like lock all that stuff in gives me the aloe rose water and shea oil shea butter is one of the things that i use on my scalp like i told you guys before that helped me out but i do use this in substitution for the shea oil and then the rose water and aloe vera is also very good and very moisturizing for my scalp next thing i like to use are two different oils first one is the Miel Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil infused with biotin and encourages growth for daily use, scalp treatment, and split-in care. I saw this before I cut my hair. I bought this um, because it said um, the scalp treatment. Y'all know again, my dry scalp, so I'm like, okay, this pretty much will help. I love this stuff. This is my second bottle. This stuff has definitely helped my hair care, and honestly, it has helped my growth in the middle of my head i had like a i don't want to say it was a patch but it was really thin here in the, in this part of my head and it was like thicker everywhere else around it and it was it wasn't embarrassing because nobody really noticed it but i did so i didn't it was just weird so i'm like what can i use to help me with that duh i already got something this helps i literally just kind of sprinkled it here push pull it through my hair and of course le brush brush it through and I've noticed a huge huge difference next thing I put on after that is the IQ Naturals Jamaican Black Castor Oil they sent me a few of their products quite a few of their products a little bit before the pandemic and I've been trying them out and this I really really love I have two different kinds this one is just the regular Jamaican Black Castor Oil and they have another one that's coconut scented I haven't tried that on my hair but I have tried it on my body very very moisturizing it reminds me of other Jamaican black castor oils um, and I like that it is USDA organic. I will leave the links to all their information down below as well. Everything that I'm listing in here I'm going to put it down but I definitely wanted to highlight them because they definitely helped me with this process by giving me Jamaican black castor oil. So thank you guys. I love this stuff. I use a little bit. Um, I would say a dime size if that's a little bit and I use this stuff every day and every night. I find that when I use this stuff, it helps to seal in my hair throughout the day. And of course, I brush that thing through. I don't always use a cream for my hair, but when I do, I'm gonna use Cantu Shea Butter. I've been using this for my hair since I've gone natural 11 years ago. I've been natural for a very long time, guys. And this stuff works for my hair. Now, it's not, I wouldn't say this is friendly for my shortcut because I find that it gives me like um, flakes on my hair. But I needed something so I used this. I used a little bit and baby, a little bit, a little bit. Do not overdo this, just, just don't. Yes, it'll dry down, but it's still gonna be flaky. You don't have that much hair that is moisturizing, so a little bit, okay? If you guys know of a cream that I can use for my shortcut that will not flake up on my hair again, please let us just know down there. I really need to know. I really need to know. And again, I'm gonna brush that bead through. So brush, 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 brush down. And after that, I put on La Durac. 
a do-rag is your best friend if you do not own a do-rag and you have a shortcut what are you doing with life you need to get one if your do-rag is too big it'll fall off at night and that's the reason why i normally don't wear my do-rag at night because it falls off my head every time so i just don't wear it at night so my hair looks like this when i actually have to do it like every day i know that's it's really counterproductive but i do my hair every day like to get to lay down i gotta do the whole full thing of wetting it making sure it's down make sure it's laid let it sit for 30 minutes da, 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 instead of just getting up and going it's the whole thing judge me not again i'm still learning but i gotta get a do-rag that fits my head make sure it fits your head also there's a seam on your do-rag make sure that that seam is facing outward not inward where it's on your head because it will leave a mark which you'll see i had a mark on my head after i took this off but yeah you want to make sure that it's the seam is up and you want to tie it down but where it's not hurting your head you don't want this to cut off circulation that's not the point of the do-rag it's just for you to lay your hair down so go ahead and tie that off i tie it twice around the back of my head and then i bring the straps around when you do that make sure you flatten them flatten them sorry make sure you flatten down the straps of that and then tie it again in the back i'll pull the tail down towards the back so that everything is flat on my head and i know it's holding everything down then i want to tie it in like a bun in the back then i'll let that sit for a good 10 20 minutes however long it takes for my hair underneath to dry and it won't take long air drying your shortcut takes virtually no time at all it's super short definitely a fraction of the time i went and went and cooked cleaned my house a little bit and then came back and this is the result that i got going from this to this that's the result i think it looks amazing this has been my routine for about two weeks now since i found this combination of hair care products in this order it's been working amazing for my head i have not had any issues with dry scalp and today i got my hair cut and there wasn't no white stuff on the cake eh, eh. so i think i did good so i just really wanted to share that with you guys i'll leave all the information for the products i have down below Again, let me know what you guys do for your hair that may be different from what I do. Let me know if there's anything that you might add to this or anything you might suggest to anybody else that's watching who is doing this for the first time. Thank you for watching my video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.